Hey guys, it's Agustin Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you all of our content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on Oculus Quest development. I show you a scene that Oculus provides in the asset store that basically allows you to interact with the train. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna be looking at that scene, but at the same time, we're gonna be incorporating some of those components into a brand new scene. That way you know what components are required. We're actually gonna be adding a timer. That timer is going to allow us to change the actual style of our hands, either from using a mesh or using a skeleton or using the mesh and the skeleton at the same time. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, let me show you what we're going to be doing in this video, guys, which is to add hand functionality to a brand new scene. I show you in the previous video how we could run the train scene that Unity and Oculus provided, and everything worked really well. I now have this scene working on my Mac. I made the changes that I show you in the previous video, and then everything seems to work. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a brand new scene, which I just created, and it doesn't really have anything. All it has is just a ground and then also a directional light. So what I'm going to do, if we need to add hand tracking, all we need to do is search for the OVR camera rig. So that's the first component that we're going to be adding. We're going to place it at 000, and then we want to make sure that the hand tracking support is set to either hands only or controller and hands. So I'm going to set it to hands only. I think that's going to make it easier for me. And then I'm also going to search for hands. I'm just going to drag it and drop it. And just keep in mind that these components, the location, you can click on them and then it'll tell you where Oculus put it. So we're gonna have our hands right there and also the OVR camera rig at the same position where our camera is going to start. So that's honestly everything that is needed to get hand, hands to work. The next thing that I want to do, because I think we wanna make it a little bit cooler, we want to, I'm gonna create a timer that is going to allow us to change the, basically the visual mode. So as you can see in here, if I want to start this scene and just have, a, have our hands look like a skeleton, I can change this enum to be a skeleton from mesh. I can also have a mesh and a skeleton show, or you can also set it to max, which I really don't know what it does right now. I, I All I know is that it's used to cycle through the different hands at styles. So what I'm gonna do is I want to add a new component here. It's going to be just a very simple script. And then this one we can just say hand visual mode toggle. And what's gonna do, it's basically after a certain amount of time, we're going to be changing the location, the actual look of the hand. So I'm going to create a new component. It's going to be a new script, and I'm just going to call it hand visual visual mode toggle. Let's just go ahead and create it. And then as soon as it gets created, we're going to be modifying that in Visual Studio Code. There we go. Let's go ahead and open it up. And if it doesn't open, I'll just go ahead and open it here. There we go. Okay, so I don't want to, let me go ahead and drop it into scripts. I wanna make sure that we have it under scripts. And then the other thing that I need to do is I'm going to be creating a timer here. We're just gonna say we can create a timer for when we're gonna be switching the hands. So we can say this is gonna be our internal timer. And we can just set it to zero by default, which the system will do that, but I always like to set it anyways. The other property that I'm going to be adding, it's going to be another private, and then this one is going to determine at what at what point do we want to change the hand style. So we're just going to say hand visual mode, change, change in seconds, and then we can just set it. You know, every three seconds we can we can change the hand style. This one right here, I'm going to be for some reason this is no the IntelliSync is not working. I'm going to close out of VS Code go into assets, open my C-sharp project. Sometimes it does that. Okay, I think it's not working. Serializable field, there we go. All right, so now that we have a timer and we have our hand visual mode change in seconds, we need to make sure that we start counting and then when we hit the max, we can change the look and feel of the hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, if the internal timer has reached the hand visual mode change in seconds, then at that point I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a change. Otherwise, we're going to just basically increment our internal timer, and I'm just gonna basically sum that times delta time, and then we'll just multiply it by one. I think that should give get us going. And then what I'll do here, I'll just reset the internal timer so that we can count up to three seconds again, and then 
change the style again. So now what I need to do, if we look at the if we look at the namespace where the hands is at, it's going to be on the Oculus sample framework. So and I know that because I've been playing with the hand component. I've been looking at some of the options that are available. So let's go ahead and go back and I can show you. So we're gonna double click on this one and then we can go into the script that Facebook implemented. I said Oculus, but I guess they're now the same company. But anyways, so the, the hand controller has a different style that you can you can associate. So we can just say visual, I think it's called visual mode. And yep, and it's just an enum. So if we look at the enum definition, like I said, this is the one that is exposed. It's just, you know, whether it's gonna be a mesh, a skeleton, both or the max. There's also uh, an actual method in here that's going to allow us to switch the visualization. So this is the method that we're going to be calling to change the visualization. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and close out of all this. And there we go. And I'm going to be adding the namespace from Oculus. So I'm just gonna say using, and then Oculus sample framework. And here we're gonna say hands, and then we can grab the singleton. So they're also implementing a singleton instance. And then I'm gonna say switch visualization. And that's really everything that we need to get going with the, you know, with changing this. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and go back into Unity. Let's get out of this prefab and then we can build the the actual application to the device. So I'm gonna go into build settings and we're gonna make sure that we have the VR hand tracking scene selected. I already added it. If you don't have it added, just click on add open scenes and it's gonna add it. Then I also like to basically deploy this on the development build because it'll give us more information. So make sure that you have that, and also I selected my Oculus Quest already. So I'm gonna click on Build and Run, and then I've been building multiple versions, so I'm just going to go to VR Hand Tracking version five. I'm gonna build it, and then I'll show you as soon as it's done building to my device. Okay, so for some reason, the hands are not getting changed. Let me make sure that I set the, the actual settings. Oh, looks like we do have an error, because the toggle was moved from a different location. So I'm gonna just search for there we go, for the actual script. And then we're gonna still do it every three seconds. So let's go ahead and hit build settings and then rebuild it. And we can just replace the version that we have. And then we can just send it to the device one more time. All right guys, so I got this running on my device. I wanna show you the results. You can see that the it's now showing the mesh with the skeleton, the toggle is working, I'm moving my hands. Now we're in the skeleton mode. Now it's in skeleton with the mesh. So when you see a mesh, it's just a mesh style and then the, the color is changing whenever I am opening my hand completely. So you can see it, that shows the skeleton and the mesh and now we're going back into mesh. So it's really precise, it's a little jittery still. I think, you know, there's a lot of work still to be done with hand tracking, but for a preview, I think I'm pretty happy with the results. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. Right guys, thank you much for watching this video today. If you guys have any questions on hand tracking technology with Oculus, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Passion.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much guys.